Okay, let's start this in five, four, three, two, one. Hello everybody, Kenesha the Creator here, and I'm here today to give you my review review on Princess Mononoke. Ugh, sorry, I sound a little bit out of breath. Annoyance is key. Bliss is all that. But hey, I finally finished the movie. I kept my promise. I finished the movie today. And what do I think about it? Well, let's get into that. Well, Princess Mononoke is a really good story about a guy named Asuka, who unfortunately, after killing a de killing a demon and setting a pig free, and setting a pig free, he unfortunately gets cursed, and this curse will eat, and this curse is said to eat him up and destroy him slowly, uh, slowly and slowly. So he decides to go far and. I think it's east. Yeah, far e, far east, to get uh, far east, to get a, uh, to ask a forest god to heal him, and while doing that, he finds this wolf girl named Sun, who is attack, who is attacking these humans that are hurting the forest. Now, he thinks. That obviously was a, that the wolf girl will lead him to the forest spirit, and indeed he does find the forest spirit. But he finds it hard. Well, it's really hard to explain. Okay. But he gets too caught up with the wolf girl, and it kind of turns into. And I really hate that they do this again. Why does every Studio Ghibli film have to have a freaking love interest? I swear, every time, every time with Studio Ghibli films, there always has to be some romance in it. Even when the characters barely know each other. Even when it's the first time they met, it's always a romance. Every, every time. It's like a dang Disney movie where they always have to have a romantic love interest for the main character. And I'm like, does this really need a love story? It's it's very environmentally friendly enough with the idea of humans causing too much hatred by attacking the forest and making the spirits angry by doing that. It's already environmentally friendly. I don't think it needs a love interest. I think it is good enough. One thing I did not like about this movie is the fact that they be is the fact that they be little the the men way too much in this movie. I get it. Not, not all men are perfect, but not all women are perfect either. We are all human. You. What was the word I was looking for? Oh yeah, we are all human. We are all flawed, which is why I really hated it how the women of that village kept treating the men so disrespectfully. It's like. Mm, Y'all may know how to use guns and weapons and everything, but technically, but technically, if it wasn't for men, half of y'all wouldn't be here in the first place, so you gotta show them some dang respect. I mean, y'all know how reproduction goes, so it's like them treating them with so much disrespect was what really got on my nerve. I really did enjoy the story with Sun with help. Helping out the force and the fact that she's still, even after uh, Ashikaka helps her, she still doesn't trust all humans. And that's fair enough. Like, like seeing what terrible things those humans have done, it's fair enough that she doesn't trust them. Heck, I wouldn't trust them either. <laughs> and it's, and I like that Lady Kabachi actually decides, eh. I'm going to turn over a new leaf and I'm going to create a different village. Who knows if she'll stay true to her word, but still, at least she decided that. Instead of being like, we're just going to try all over again. Cause, but then again, if she really was going to do that, I feel like they were just going to have the scene where the spirit just takes her life there before she can really even do anything about that. So I feel like that's the reason why they kept her alive is because they were always planning to have her like have a kind of half-baked redemption. And I like how that man was just like, you know what? I can't. 
I can't compete with fools. I give up. <laughs> it was ridiculous. I just love how that man was just so double-sided, helping both sides. Oh, I could have sworn. I could have sworn. I thought he was going to kill Lady Kabashi after she had taken the head spirit off. But I guess he was like, no, I'm a man of my word. And I never say anything about killing her after this, so... I'm just going to keep her alive because that would have been way more interesting if he had done that. But hey, I can understand that was a, that'd be a little too harsh. And we can only have so much betrayal in a Studio Ghibli film. <laughs> but anyway, Princess Mononoke was a sight to behold. And that last scene where, the, where after the forest god's head got cut off and he was training every life all around, I was like, whoa. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ooh, yeah, y'all did. <laughs> oh, y'all are dead. And this is like, oh, I'm just glad the right thing happened in the end. I'll never be able to stop being so amazed by everything that happens in Studio Ghibli films. And I finally watched Princess Mononoke. I have been scratching and banging my head to finish this. And now I finally finished it. So that's check off my list. Also, guys, I want to see English dub. And let me tell you, was I so happy to hear so many familiar voices? Especially, did y'all see the guy who was playing like the main soldier of the men? I think y'all should recognize that voice if y'all watched the English dub. Ah, oh, too well. I know who that voice is. And I'm not telling y'all. Y'all have to watch it and find out. Because it's a sight. Because not only the voice is good, but the animation is always beautiful. And let's just say the characters are flawless. Well, not flawless, but they are definitely the greatest part of this story. Again, the B-Little Air Man, annoying, and the Overpower Man of Women, annoying too. Don't get me wrong, I'm not one of those people who say, who's think, who's thinks that, who thinks that one is superior over the other. I like equality. That's why I'm complaining. But anyway, I give Princess Mononoke a 9 out of 10. Of all the things I love about it, it's just what I expected to love about it. All of y'all. All of y'all have a... Well, all of y'all, I hope y'all really aren't awake at this moment and you're watching this in the morning. Well, in the morning, morning, like 8 o'clock. Bye.